When you want the viewer to be curious of something, it is better to show the surprise or the object after the, uh, the reaction of the actor. Explain this storyboard from left top to right bottom. In the first box, there are two actors walking towards the camera. And then the first, uh, the one of the actors um, makes a surprise. And then the other person realizes them too. And then the camera, uh, it cuts once and then switch to POV. Then it shows a famous guy and then the famous guy takes off his sunglasses. When you're taking the shot, moving on, um, first of all, you need the camera and the actor moving towards each other. The, in the beginning, you should show the whole body of the actor and then get closer and show only their face or above your chest to show the emotion of the actor. And then they stop and then show the emotion. The actor shows an emotion towards something but we still can't see what's happening. And then we cut the video and then change it to POV or a shoulder shot to show what the surprise is or what, what is happening afterwards. Uh, we want to use this shot moving on. When you want to show an actor that is escaping from somewhere and meets in surprise or just a uh, reaction towards a surprise. The point is that the watcher, um, that uh, the watcher can't um, see what is going on until they see the surprise or the emotion of the actor. So we can't, we'll be surprised. That's also because we know that there's something is happening and it's gonna be a surprise. So it makes it more scary. Um, one important thing when you're doing the shot is that the actor and the camera is moving towards each other in the same but the same speed and another thing is showing the surprise after the reaction now that we learned the shot let's look at an example of it